Hello Grains! I missed you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing more fidget toys. More specifically, I found fidget toys that are supposed to be good for your brain. Now, am I the right person to do this? Probably not. I am the right person to see if I have the correct attention span to fidget with them. As someone with ADHD, I've had so much fun reviewing mystery fidget toy boxes and a huge variety of viral TikTok fidget toys as well. If you're interested, I will leave a playlist of all the different ones that I've tried below. And yes, we've also done a couple of fidget toy advent calendars, which were interesting. So you can see the collection. A couple of them are not brained, but they are pretty cute, such as the rainbow slug. And then we have a puzzle rotation. That one kind of reminded me of a Rubik's Cube, but you know, we won't try it. And then there's Memory Chess. Not sure if I'm gonna like that one. And very randomly, recommended by Amazon, we have a Harry Potter Golden Snitch fidget spinner. Very random, but apparently that was recommended to me, so we gonna spin it. And then a hexagonal puzzle. I really wanted to get the one that was kind of like Tetris, but apparently that was sold out. Probably not by the time this video is. But you know what? I really wanted that one, but. And last but not least, probably something that I hate the most, which are hand puzzles. I hate these so much because I can't get them. I don't have the patience for them. I'm not the kind of person who likes puzzles, but let me know in the comment section below, do you like puzzles? Whether it be putting things together like Legos, or little puzzles of images that you build up, or even brain teaser puzzles like these ones. I personally hate everything, including Ikea. I don't like putting things together. I'm okay with destroying them though. Today, we are ready for destruction! Sorry, little nugget. <laughs> and for those of you new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications. Otherwise, I don't just have one, but two sharp pointy things that I can falsely threaten you with. It's not real. Pretend you're scared, just for me. Also, let me know which one do you think I'm going to hate the most? I know I have my judgments already pre-made in my little brain. But let's see if you can guess right. And let's start with Rainbow Slug. It reminds me of a fidget toy that I actually 3D printed thanks to my brother, but I'm not sure if having it 3D printed versus professionally made is going to make a difference. And at $18, it makes it one of the expensive fidget toys. It's not exactly cheap. Sounds like somebody's stuck in the ice. Yep, they're stuck. The color really is absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's, oh, oh. Oh, I have goosebumps. Why does, oh, oh my God. I have goosebumps. <laughs> I did not expect, I was like, let's take the thing I'm probably not going to like, but the movement and the fluidity of this actual fidget toy is really nice. It's so smooth. It doesn't have anything sharp or annoying about it. It's a nut. And it just feels really pleasant. I don't know if it's worth $18. Even the sound is really nice. <laughs> but yeah, don't 3D print this. It's not the same motion. It just feels like it's a lot more smoother, a lot cleaner, and it feels genuinely really nice, and the color is gorgeous. Look, let's listen to this. I like it. So I'm going to say that this rainbow slug, as adorable as it is, really merits a high point. For me, this is going to probably be an eight and a half. Look at that. Look, look, it just moves like a little snake. And you can, you can, oh my gosh, you can just twirl every part of it. I'm loving this. McDonald's, don't come after me. Pa -da -pa -pa -pa. <laughs> Sticking with the color theme, this next one at $30. Holy moly, all of these are so expensive. There goes my money, goodbye money. I see you, you go away, I cry, but it's okay, it's for you, it's for me. Rotate and slide puzzle. This one is basically a fidget toy where you get to move the puzzle up and down on left and right so that you can get all your colors in a line or whatever pattern you want. I honestly tried getting the smaller one, as you can see at the top of the actual box, there are different sizes, but for some weird reason, the smaller ones were more expensive. I'm like, I don't want a big brain today. I just want to try it out, see the fluidity and smoothness of it. And yes, the missing piece is on purpose so that you can, you know, move things around. <laughs> It does say six plus, but I'm not sure if I'm mentally there. <laughs> and worst case, if you really messed up the colors too much, you can always remove the entire thing and just place them in, in the row back again. So that's, that's okay too. So let's see. 
how we feel about it. Right away, this actually has a really nice hand feel to it. I mean, look, I can barely put my entire hand around it. This is the circumference of the thing. So it has a nice plasticky feel to it, but a good quality. And even the sound it makes is not obnoxious. Kind of like a candy bag. And you can see all the way around, we do get a rainbow-esque type of effect, which I really visually can appreciate. And we get this little manual thing that just tells us how it works. Okay, ooh. Oh, and they tell you here are some patterns that they can recommend. Okay, sure. Okay, I get it. Very straightforward. All right, so let's get a feel for how it moves. Okay, up, we can do side. No, what? Just up and down? Oh, okay. It's a rotation game. Okay, okay, okay. So as someone who likes to fidget mindlessly, let's see how this feels just as, you know, not looking at it. So let's just move, rotate. Oh no, no, I have to look. I basically have to look where I'm going. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Wait. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so the bottom one, that one rotates. The second one rotates. The third one, the middle doesn't rotate. How about this one? Okay, that one does. Wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, hang on. This is so weird. Rotate, rotate. Hello? Oh, are these two connected? What? Okay, the experience is not smooth. I don't like this. So I have to admit that this is not fun. I am not crazy about this. Just the experience is not smooth. It requires way too much focus to be a fidget toy, despite the fact that it is listed under fidget toys. So I don't think I like fidget puzzles. So for me, personally, it's not mindless enough. I'm going to give this, uh, it is pretty though. You do be pretty though. Ah, four on 10. All right, moving on to something a little less mindless so I can be a little less frustrated. Let's go ahead and try the fidget spinner from Harry Potter. And coming in at $18.98, it's kind of a premium fidget spinner. So, oh, it has a nice weight to it. Okay, but for some weird reason, we have a random fidget spinner included. This is not Harry Potter themed. What are you doing in here? It's like, we know we scammed you, so here's a second fidget spinner. This one is pretty plasticky. Not sure why there's these holes. Ow, there's a little plastic sticking out. Yeah, don't put your finger in there. Look at this. Yeah, that's that's definitely gonna cut you. Don't do it because the only person who's allowed is me. I'm the only person who can have sharp pointy things, not toys. So I don't see the function of these holes because it's not like we can flip them. You're gonna hurt yourself. Eh, it has an okay kind of spinach. Oh, that, that did not last very long. And when I say spinach, it's not, not canned or frozen spinach. It's like spinning motion, spinach, A-G-E. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to this one. Please do not disappoint. There we go, and spin. Oh no. There's something loose on the inside. Oh no, oh no. So it doesn't show here, but when you move the fidget toy up and down as you normally do, you know, when you do with your fidget toys like this, something on the inside just moves up and down so that the actual spinning isn't, ooh, ooh. Yeah, there's a heavy ball on the inside and it just stops spinning. Here, look at that. In real time, just move it up and down as you normally would, and it slows down significantly. So, eee, I'm gonna have to say it. This is absolute garbage, scavage, poop. So I have to say for something that is about $20, it looks pretty, but it doesn't have the actual functionality of a fidget spinner. It's just very clunky. It look, that's, it just looks pretty. But other than that, I'm gonna have to say this is really disappointing. I'm gonna give this a two on 10. How did you rank lower than this? Because it is functional, it's just annoying, but you are annoying and not functional.
And now at $28, I'm telling you, today's fidget toys are a really expensive haul. We have a fidget memory game, which is called Memory Chess. Now, I feel like this actually might be interesting to play a little mindlessly, but at the same time, kind of move pegs around. Because it seems like we're getting a dice, and we have to roll it and find the color that corresponds. It does say it's for 36 months and up, so I think I should be okay, right? Maybe. So despite the fact that I say I might dislike it, I feel like it could be good, but let's see. We get an instruction sheet with two different basic ways to play it. The first one is to collect whatever color the dice rolls on, and the other one is basically collecting one of each color as you roll. So it's a little bit of luck and skill. Oh, that is really light. So we have a dice with the different colors on each side. There we are, and white and green. Let's see how it rolls. Yellow, not bad. Okay, pretty balanced. And then we have our little pegs, which are really light. Oh, okay. Oh, they're really light. So you don't really need much force to pull them out. It's, it's basically just like this. So if I were to roll and get green, I have to look for green. Nope, that's not it. Roll again. Oh, we want green. Nope, that's not it. Did I just pull the first same one again? White, I think it was one of these. There you go, so now I get to keep this one. And now it could be the next person, or you can just kind of play by yourself. So it's not an activity where you need somebody, which I really love. Because let's say you're just sitting in on a meeting or listening in on a class. You can quietly just do this. Roll, you see blue. Try to find, that was black, I messed up. So you just have something that you don't necessarily, there we go, black, that was black, let's pull the black. And you can just kind of do this mindlessly, but at the same time work on your skills. See, not too bad. Red, I think. Yeah, there you go. I like this. I really like this way more than I thought because you don't need a second person. That's what makes a good fidget toy a good fidget toy and something that you can use your focus on without 100% being focused on. So I'm gonna say th this is really fun. Yellow, I haven't seen a yellow. Oh no. Red, no that's green. Oh gosh, where'd you go? It said blue, yellow. <laughs> Oh goodness, white, is there another? No, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, blue is here? No, was it this one? No, there. So, you know what? I like this. It's a calm, fidgety thing that doesn't require too much brain power, but at the same time, it kind of does. And it's nice to kind of roll this in your hand. I like this a lot more than I thought. I'm genuinely going to give this an eight on 10. The only reason it's not getting more is because it's not portable. So usually fidget toys that get higher grades have to be portable so that you can take it on the go. But this is great, fits on a desk and you can enjoy it without having to have someone else there. I love it. Continuing with brains. Hexagonal type puzzle. I'm not sure how mindless this is, but I feel like it wouldn't be annoying, technically speaking, and it only cost me $13. So, let's get a feel for it. And here it is. It's, it basically feels like one of those wooden toys that you would play with in elementary school. And, oh, what are you? Interesting. Wait, not interesting. What? Oh, these these are solutions. Oh, okay. Okay, let's not look at the solutions. So here they are. It feels really nice. I was worried that it would kind of give us splinters, but there it is. And the blocks are pretty smooth. They really have this nostalgic elementary feel to them. And you basically just keep going. Honestly, it's more like just, I like this. I don't think you have to think too hard for this. You just kind of put the pieces together and then try and figure it out as you go. You kind of see the shapes going at the same time. So right now I'm just gonna try and put this together with you greens. Does this fit here? No. Okay, let's just add more pieces and see where, no, no, oh, does this fit here? No, how about this way? No, so you do not go here, no. See, it, it kind of speaks for itself. <laughs> let's try and, oh, bone, no, how about this? See, I feel like it, it really does speak to you. Let's see if we're gonna be able to get it from the first try. No, see there, that doesn't work. How about you? Okay, no. No, we still have that one issue. How about you? No. Don't worry, Grains, we get, we don't get this. Don't worry, <laughs> we don't got this. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to think on this a little bit. But you know what? I like it. I actually quite like this. 
A few minutes later. I am starting over because I realized that some of the pieces I was putting basically the backside. Because if there's not showing any kind of hexagons, then it's not helpful. So all of them should ideally be on this side or that side. Whereas I had a mixture of this way and that way. But I got this. So here I go putting it together. It was actually pretty relaxing trying to fit the pieces. I know I said that the sides should all be facing the same way, but that was wrong. So I kind of did cheat for the sake of this video because I could, I could, I, I, I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> I can actually lose myself in this because it was just so relaxing, the sounds were nice, there wasn't anything satisfying about it, but it did keep me busy. So the reveal, ta-da! And I did look at the cheat sheet because this shape here in one of the solutions is the other way around. So I'm going to say don't rely on the fact that you can see the hexagons, you can actually turn them around and just try and fit it wherever it works. But is it fun, silent, and easygoing and holds your attention for a period of time? Yes. I'm gonna give this a 7.5 on 10. It loses a little bit of points because it does need a little bit of brain power. <laughs> and now for the thing I fear the most, thinking. <clears throat> Technically, it, it would be spiders, but I'm, I'm, I'm working on that. Escapey type hand puzzles. Oh, okay. So the back does give the solutions to how to get these done. Suddenly I'm okay with this. <laughs> Okay, we do have solutions for all the different kinds in here, which I can appreciate so that you can, you know, don't have to figure it out unless you, you know, you've tried. I'm just gonna try them anyways without looking. And for this entire set, it cost me $18.88, which is not too bad considering how many we're getting. All right, let's go ahead and test these out. We'll put you aside. And I'm guessing this should be easy. I mean, they feel metallic. They have a nice weight to them. And you just gotta get it out. I don't have much experience with this, but okay. Oh, so this one says to move it forward and then twist it out. So I'm guessing something like this and then like a so. Am I, am I allowed to lift you? But oh, there is a space. Oh, okay, okay. Kind of this way. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh no. I don't like this one. <laughs> Next. Let's try the hearts. These are honestly pretty good quality. So for this one, we need to move one of them towards the center and pop it right out. So they have to be opposite, like so. And just pull. There you go. Okay, that's easy. Okay, so that, that's not too bad. Very simple, just opposite. What did I do? Opposite. And voila. Okay, that's pretty simple. That I could do. Let's do one more. All right, we're gonna try the pretzels, but I feel like maybe they're all the same thing where we align the two exits and kind of just twists. Is that, is, is it that easy? <laughs> Am I messing this up? Are you just supposed, to, there you go. I mean, it feels kind of logical. I thought these puzzles would be a little bit more tricky. So they're on the edge and it just, not that much force. It just kind of just pulls out. Okay, let's try this box. Cause this one feels like there's just more to it. I mean, we have a springy thing right there too. And we have, all right, so we have all of these different ones. Here's the springy. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a chat. Like, can't I just twirl it all the way to the edge? Is this not how this puzzle is supposed to work? Like if I do this, like, like that. Is this the wrong solution? I feel like it's not the right solution, but it's not wrong either. So I'm gonna put this away. I feel like this is a tricksy one. And let's try with something like this. That's a little bit more of a brain teaser. So the idea is to get this one and the main one out of each other. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Am I, am I supposed to twist you? There's an opening right there, so it shouldn't be forced. Or is it? There's gotta be a part in this that's gonna be less Oh gosh, oh boy, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh boy. What does the solution say? It says twist, turn, turn it away. So kind of this way. So bring it here, oh gosh. Bring it to the edge and then bring it this way. Oh gosh, oh boy. <laughs> Oh, I don't like these. I guess if you really want to fidget, you could just keep them in your pocket, kind of like those rings that I like that are gear-ish, because they do have a nice weight to them. But yeah, you can definitely fidget with these. They're small enough, they're portable enough. But I feel like once you get it right once, you'll know how to do it again over and over. So it feels like it's a one-time use puzzle, but still it maintains its fidgetness to it. And let's 
let's be honest, for the price you get so many different of these metal bands that I kind of feel like they are worth it. So you can use them either as fidget or as puzzles. So I'm going to give this a 7 on 10. There's nothing that's goosebumpy, nothing that's interesting, it's, it's just, it's fidgety. It's is totally fine and it's quiet and portable. Out of all the fidget toys that we tried today, so many of them were colorful, some of them were frustrating, others were just downright relaxing. Which one do you think is more worth it for you? I'm usually pretty picky because I like things that give me a satisfactory feel to it and a distraction. Puzzles and too much brain power for me personally, it's not a great fidget toy. If you want to watch more fidget toy reviews, make sure you check up here and if you want to watch something a little crafty, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.